Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He, he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See, see Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But, she said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. Ja, und damit sage ich wieder mal Hallo und willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Life is Strange 2. Und so wie es ausschaut, sind wir mal wieder auf der Flucht. Und so wie es weiter ausschaut, war meine Vermutung nach dem Treffen mit Kesselby gar nicht so verkehrt. Das heißt, wir werden wahrscheinlich demnächst auch auf dem Zug sitzen und ich weiß noch nicht, ob der dann tatsächlich nach Kalifornien fährt. Aber ich denke, das werden wir schneller als uns Liebes rausfinden. Weil ich glaube nicht, dass wir auf den aufspringen werden, solange der hier so rast. Langsamer Gott, alles klar. Ja, dann würde ich sagen, schauen wir mal, wo uns die Reise hinführt. Normalerweise wäre das ja jetzt hier der perfekte Punkt für ein Folgenende und einen Cliffhanger. Ähm, wenn wir ganz viel Pech haben, ist es das Episodenende und ihr kriegt jetzt erstmal noch nur einen langen Abspann zu sehen. Ähm. Ja, ich wollte es nicht verschreien, <lacht> aber das ist genau das, was ich befürchtet hatte. Und ja, damit sind wir dann wohl am Ende von Episode 2. Haben wir ähm, einen Zug zu besteigen. Und ja, nachdem die Folge hier sehr, sehr kurz wäre und der Abspann offensichtlich mit Copyright geschützter Musik hinterlegt ist, ähm, werden wir jetzt einfach hier einen krassen Schnitt machen.
Und ich werde dann direkt wieder in Episode 3 einsteigen und die Folge wird dann weitergehen. Ähm, ansonsten wird es hier nämlich zu kurz und Abspann ohne Musik macht jetzt auch nicht so wirklich Spaß. Und ja, deswegen schneide ich das dann einfach raus und wir sehen uns dann nach einem kurzen Cut gleich wieder. Bis gleich. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. Ja, und damit sag ich dann wieder Hallo. Und nach dem kurzen Schnitt machen wir noch einen zweiten kurzen Schnitt. Und dann sehen wir uns mit dem Beginn von Episode 3 wieder. Once upon a time, in a while wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. Ja, und mit dieser Zusammenfassung des bisher Geschehenen sind wir dann jetzt letztlich angekommen am Beginn von Episode 3. Wir sind ja auf den Zug aufgesprungen und jetzt schauen wir mal, wie es an der Stelle weitergehen wird. Wie immer entschuldige ich mich an der Stelle übrigens für die Stille, für alle die, die es noch nie mitbekommen haben. Ich habe die Copyright Musik geschützte, äh, Copyright geschützte Musik so rum automatisch ausblenden lassen. Und ich vermute, dass hier gerade wieder ein entsprechendes Stück läuft und wir deswegen nichts hören. Tut mir leid, aber ich kann es nicht ändern. Copyright, das alte Leid, wir kennen es ja.
no oh. way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Okay, das geht jetzt offenbar mit dem kleinen Rückblick los, bevor wir erfahren, was auf dem Zug passiert ist, aber okay. Man, that would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Was ist denn da? Blablabla, die wollten da offensichtlich irgendwo einbrechen. Looking Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Okay, this one in baby up for a fear and trip so is our shit. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Oh my god, nice on sorry. Scored at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Unseren Bruder verfolgen. Dad thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Of course. Like I want to play fucking hide and seek. Wo steckt er denn der Pingel? Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. But I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Oh, man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Oh, wo steckt er denn da, Junge? Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. Okay, an Ausweis von der Mutter. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24-7. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. Okay, Mathe war nicht ganz so seins. What is he making with all that crap? Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. Okay, aber offensichtlich ist er nicht hier. 
Na gut, dann suchen wir eben weiter. So weit kann er ja nur auch nicht sein. Maybe he's invisible now. Nee, da wollte ich nicht hin, falsches Zimmer. Könnten wir uns bitte auf das konzentrieren, wenn was möglich ist. So, hier, Bad. Oh, no time for this. Where are you? Steckt in der Binge. Hatten wir das Spielchen nicht schon mal irgendwann? Hold on. Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room! Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man! You started it, dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad He's at He's totally me. lying. You little- Enough! Uh, you both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it, but we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that, and I do look out for him, I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had... Eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Be nice and don't break anything. 
Na gut, dann schauen wir mal, was in der Vergangenheit noch so passiert ist. Aber das verschieben wir dann auf die nächste Folge. Und ich sage bis dahin wie immer, danke fürs Zuschauen, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.